My name is John Carmichael. I am a astrophotographer. If you're not using a phone and you actually want to invest or you already have a DSLR camera like this uh, or a mirrorless camera, you have to apply the same principles. You have to really protect the sensor on the back of your camera. So what I see a lot of people doing, uh, you turn on the live view here and you point it up toward the sky. You want to get as much detail of the eclipse as possible using your camera. The problem is, if you can see on a screen what your camera is pointing at, that means all of this is getting exposed to your sensor. You constantly want to keep that in mind, assuming that you want to save your camera life and not destroy your, your uh, poor sensor, because over time you'll start getting dead pixels if you ruin it. And also, remember, if you're using a telephoto lens like this, that zooms in a, a ton, that just magnifies the intensity that much more. We all, you know, as kids, we used a magnifying glass, you know, to burn a leaf on the sidewalk or whatever. Uh, that's kind of what's happening here. The biggest thing is to never, ever, ever look through the viewfinder. Because when you turn the live view off, if it's not a mirrorless, meaning if it's a DSLR camera, there's actually multiple mirrors angled so whatever you're seeing through the eye finder itself, the mirrors are going, you're actually seeing directly through the lens itself. So if you're, <laughs> if you point the camera up directly to the sun and you're looking through the viewfinder here, that is like instant damage to the eye. I mean, that, that's the worst thing you can do. So if you're going to do that, I, I just recommend from the very get go, getting proper filters, solar filters to block that out. If you can't find, uh, you know, an actual solar rated filter, or if you wanna save some money and you already have some ND filters, just be sure you stack ND filters on top of one another to amount to at least 16 stops. That's what's recommended. You can stack as many as you like, pop that on the lens, and then you're good to go. Then it's safe to actually use the camera in these other ways. Uh, but if you don't have a filter on these things, do not tempt that. Otherwise, it'll be very expensive and potentially damaging to the eye. 